What is up everyone, Stefan here from TechRed. Today I'll be doing my unboxing and first impressions of the Alcatel Cameo X. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay hey guys, so the things you need to know about this. So first of all, I picked this up for $39.99. After tax, it was about $43 and some change. This is on AT&T's prepaid network. And yeah, that's what we have so far for the information. Now going into the specifications, we have a wide angle selfie camera. We have a five inch display with Dragon Trail glass. So we've seen that Dragon Trail on newer devices like the Blade Z Max. So that's nice to see. We have a five megapixel with LED flash rear facing camera and we have a two megapixel front facing camera. Uh, not amazing for the camera so far, but it is a $40 device. We also have a 16 gigabyte internal memory. So we have 16 gigabytes of ROM and it is expandable up to 128 gigabytes. So if you guys do take a lot of pictures I really do recommend getting at least a 32 gigabyte SD card maybe a 16 but definitely go ahead and invest in that if you take a lot of photos and the last thing we have on here is Android NuGet 7.0 which is really really nice to see okay let's go ahead and see what is inside of here let's go ahead and take off this little and that is a fail but let's go ahead and open this up boom 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 okay so we have our phone right here Take the top off, take the phone out. We have our little Sprint logo right here. Let's put the phone to the side and take a look at the uh, rest of the stuff. So we have our charger right here, our little charger, wall charger. We have our cord right here. I believe this is micro USB. Do not know why it would be type C, but yeah, that is micro USB as you see right there. That's cool. We have our AT&T uh, quick start guide and we have some little promotional stuff right here as well as other literature that no one reads at all. And we also have our battery right here. And yeah, let's get this booted up and set up. All right guys, so it looks like this battery is 2050 milliamps, which is uh, kind of weak in my opinion, honestly. So weak battery in that sense. But let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. So we have the phone right here. Let's go ahead and peel the little screen off. Boom. And uh, yeah, looks looks similar to a, a Pixie Theater or something of that nature. Uh, the back is really, really nice, honestly. I really do like the back. Uh, the texture is kind of like a golf ball texture. Pretty nice. We have our speaker at the bottom. We have our Alcatel branding right here. We have the Sprint branding right here. We have the five megapixel up top uh, with an LED flash. Now, if we go to the front of the screen, we have a five inch screen, two megapixel camera. We have the headset up top. We have the capacitive buttons at the, t at the bottom. We have the mic at the bottom right there. If you can go ahead and see that. And we have our micro USB port at the bottom as well. Now going to the right side, this holds all of our controls. So we have the power button and we have the up and down volume button. Uh, going to the top of the phone, we have a 3.5 millimeter head jack as well as a noise canceling microphone as well. And this is a removable back. So we're gonna go ahead and install the battery inside of this device right now. So it looks like we're, we can open this up on the corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, boom, boom. So right there is where you can put your micro SD card that you get uh, and you can put your SIM card or your SIM card is held right there. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in here. Boom. And hold the power button. Let's let it boot up real quick. So far, not too bad though. So far, screen looks better than I anticipated. I thought the viewing angles were gonna be total crap. Uh, but as it looks so far, it looks pretty decent. Okay hey guys, so right off the bat, the viewing angles are actually not that bad. I thought they were going to be horrible. I thought they would just wash out. But um, looks to be like the viewing angles are actually pretty decent on this device. Now, first impressions, we do have some really nice wallpapers. It preloads it with this wallpaper, but we have other wallpapers such as beaches and uh, different ones like that. But uh, the wallpaper that I like is this wallpaper, so I'm going to set that on here. Now, if we go ahead and go into the settings, we can go ahead and look at the... Um, 
the storage that we go ahead and get on this device. Now, if we go and scroll all the way down to where it says storage, it only uses about 5.49 gigabytes of memory. So you do have a, about 11 gigabytes. Now compared to other phones like the Blade Spark and other phones like that, that take a ton, a ton of memory up, uh, this is actually not that bad. And you can, you can also disable applications on, um, you can also dis disable and um, delete applications on here, such as the Uber app, the YP app, uh, disable my at and and all these different apps. You can also unlock this, which is, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to unlock this, but you can disable different stuff like that. There is a lot of bloatware on here that you can disable, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also have Android Nougat 7.0, so that's really nice to see on this $40 phone. Um, the, it's, it's pretty responsive so far, so that's nice to see. Uh, the screen is pretty responsive. The touch screen is nice and fluid but yeah I'm liking it so far uh, seems to be good for $40 this is fairly stock Android uh, with with a skin over it uh, for for just the applications but everything else seems to be really stock Android um, but yeah stock Android just with the little skin over it uh, I have nothing wrong with that I know Akatel puts their little flavor on Android so uh, you know can't complain it looks decent so far uh, these capacitive touch buttons at the bottom have been doing good so far they do not light up which is you know kind of annoying when you're in like dark situations but they do not light up you can't change the navigation of them you can't change what they do which is kind of sad but it's all good um, something else that I wanted to show you is they have this preloaded in the drop down menu is a uh, night mode which is something that I saw that was pretty actually cool um, if you guys do not like blue light on your eyes or do not want to hurt your redness when you're sleeping or you're not you're not sleeping you just don't want to turn on your phone and it hurts your eyes you can actually put night mode on and that kind of warms the screen a little bit so it makes it um, you know it turns like the blue tint off they have something similar to that on these Samsung devices um, but that's pretty cool to see on here but yeah so far for $39.99 I can't really complain um, the camera does seem to be a little bit slow if I show you here right now let's go ahead and take a picture of something pretty slow um, you know, it doesn't have the best camera, but you can get some good shots if you do try. Um, but yeah, decent for $40, honestly. I would see this being a, um, being a good camera in, you know, lighting lighted conditions because low light you're not going to really do good with a camera uh, again i will go over this in my full review first impressions though not bad for forty dollars uh there are better options but not bad for forty dollars um yeah my full review will be on this in a little bit i'm gonna play around with this device see how it is and yeah but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below as well. Subscribing if you guys are not part of the Tech Right fam already. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Peace out.